these are no ordinary race cars. And despite the smooth overtaking, these racing manoeuvres aren't all that they seem. I'm at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and this is the Indy Autonomous Challenge. And none of these cars have drivers. Well, not human ones at least. Indy Autonomous Challenge is a research initiative where we bring universities from around the world and companies that are working in the autonomous vehicle space and we try to advance the technology through the platform of motorsport by running fully autonomous race cars with AI drivers that are coded by top research university teams. The idea is to try to prove that autonomous technology can work at extremely high speeds. What you'll see is fully autonomous race cars racing each other two at a time, passing each other at increasingly higher speeds until one car either crashes or gives up, right? Um, and we can say that because there's no driver in it, so if it crashes, it's just cost some money. Um, and, uh, you know, the speeds that we've achieved in the past at this track have topped 180 miles an hour. This was a test day where the various teams from top universities around the world were tweaking both the cars and their AI drivers to try and gain maximum advantage. So what exactly are the challenges in trying to make an AI racing driver? Well, there's multiple challenges, right? Uh, first is the perception. So getting all of the sensors, the LIDAR, the radar, the cameras to all work right. Uh, you have the communication technology. So how do you have really low latency communication? If the cars are moving that fast, you need to stay connected with them all around the track. Um, and then there's the uncertainty of what the different AI drivers are gonna do. So if a car is driving by itself, that's one challenge. If you put a, a second car or even a third car out there, now it has to predict what the other driver is going to do, and that can be really difficult from a computational standpoint. Everything that the opponent does, our car has to react to in real time the same way a race car driver would. Uh, as the car changes lanes, as it makes decisions to try to overtake, uh, we have to predict and adapt and move in order to make real time decisions that could cost us the win or the loss. The challenges to making race cars race autonomously is exactly the same challenge as having a human do it. Uh, as you can tell there's a very small percentage of people in the world who can actually race these cars and imagine getting a team of software engineers together and to try to make that a reality uh, in software that's making decisions in real time to compete against other software that's making decisions in real time uh, so it's not a trivial task like regular autonomous vehicles the race cars in the IAC rely heavily on lidar to identify their surroundings one of lidar's big advantages is that it can operate in low light. And to show this capability off, the main event of the track week was pitting the AI cars against each other completely in the dark. But as fun as watching self-driving racing cars hurtling around in the dark is, this isn't just about entertainment. There is a serious side to all this. The main goal of this project is to advance understanding around vehicle autonomy, with the aim of ultimately making self-driving cars operate more safely at higher speeds. Much of the industry has focused on low-speed automation, kind of the urban-suburban robo-taxi. Uh, we saw that, and, and in 2021, we came out with a new challenge to say, what if we could prove that this technology could work at speeds, let's say, greater than 100 miles an hour? Uh, and we think this is really important because eventually, if we're going to have autonomous vehicles, we really want those vehicles to keep us safe at speeds that humans are not really comfortable driving. And once you get to 100 or 130 miles an hour, unless you're a professional race car driver, you really shouldn't be driving at that speed. But think of what it would mean for the world to have cars uh, moving people, moving freight at those kinds of speeds. The Indy Autonomous Challenge is now expanding outside of the US with races at iconic motorsports venues such as Monza in Italy and Goodwood in the UK. 
autonomous driving technology continues to develop at speed, both on the road and on the racetrack. <laughs>